Okay, hold it to the end, so let's go around. And if you know the route, that helps too, so that you're not sitting here accidentally going the wrong way. Now, see, that was easy. Okay, so... Um, what's going on in here? Is this that room I was talking about earlier? That I think it is. Huh. That's strange. What's going on in here? I don't remember this room. What the heck is this? Yeah, okay. Alright, alright. You want to knock me down. That's... Oh, lordy. Oh, man, look at this. Holy crap. Uh... <laughs> well, if you do the spin attack, you can get rid of these guys. You just have to... Yeah. They'll pretty much all die instantly. So you won't have to deal with them again. Or what else you can do, and a lot of people told me this, is you can light your lantern, they actually will make it'll make him go away. So uh what the hell is in here? Oh check it out, it's Uku. I almost forgot about you. Phew, free at last. Gracious, you're that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. Yep, yeah, alright. Reunited with Uku. Link doesn't seem to mind him so much now. Now he's finally getting to know him. So that's good. It's nice when you get to know somebody. God, what time is it, man? I just slept 12 hours. Let me see if that thing actually works with the lantern. Well, I don't think the bugs are going to be able to get to me now. Oh, wait. Yeah. See, if you like the lantern, they go away. So, that's cool. Ow! Jeez, that looks like it really hurts, man. What the heck? Okay, let me actually, uh... Switch back to my arrows. Okay, we can't get through this, obviously, so... Let's just keep scouting the outside of the room here. This will take us back to the opposite end. It doesn't look like the left goes anywhere, so let me go this way. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes, of course. Wait a minute. Isn't that... Ah! Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap! Oh my god. Okay, alright, we're gonna have to use the sword. Oops, I was trying to use the helm sword, but I hit the wrong button. Okay, so these are the Stalfos, where you have to use bombs to kill them, so... Let me go ahead and set it now. I think that one will probably get both of them, but just in case... Oh man, what's going on? I must have those things on me again. Well, I don't anymore. Uh, okay. So what you need to do is jump over that up there and get up here. But, um... Uh, I better get out of here. Yeah, follow me. Come and follow me. Here, you know what? Hang on a second. I was trying to turn around before I set up my bow. You know what? At least I got him. Yeah, so that's what it is. You have to kill the three Stalfos to make the gate open. Alright. So let's get back in there then. And don't step on the sand. And no scare fish! Okay, well, yeah, you know, let's, let's go ahead and use the lantern here. That way, bugs won't bother us when we're trying to. Ugh. Yeah, see, they'll stay away. Man, that makes that so much easier. Holy crap. Do you have any idea? Okay, so I'll put the lantern. Oh, man. You know, I must have had to do that like four times on my practice file to get through that freaking thing. And I had no problem this time, thanks to. All you people who suggested that, I had no idea. Man, this room looks dark and dank and humid. And what the hell? Hey, it's the... Uh, I don't know what that is. It's a, it's a sword sticking in the ground like the first shot in Final Fantasy X, which I'm making way too many references to that game these days. It's all Dario's fault. You know, if he wasn't LPing that game, I wouldn't be so tempted to play it right now. And for the fact that I haven't played it in like three years. I mean, I got videos on Jealous Guy from back the last time I played through it. I was sitting out at the lake talking about how much I loved the game. And what am I doing? Did I have... Did I actually have the iron boots equipped? That's, that's ridiculous, man. There's no way. Anyways, you're gonna have to use your senses to actually see this guy. But even then, you can't really do much. So he lights up like that, of course. And, uh, you know, just like the pose. Pretty much. 
Well, he's mad now. Wow. You want some? Senses won't do you much good here. So he's gonna kinda go in a circle around you here. And just wait. Wait. What the hell is that? Who do you think you are? Phantom Ganon? Phantom Ganon? Is there two of you? Wait. I think I'm supposed to be doing something here. In fact, I'm pretty damn sure I am. Let me actually... Yeah, I think you might actually be supposed to be shitting, shitting him with... <laughs> yeah, I think you're supposed to be shitting him with arrows. Maybe even bomb arrows. Yeah. Then he's just gonna go around it like this, like nuts. He's just kinda nailing like this. Okay, I guess that works. And then we just do the same thing again. Damn! Yeah, no problem. <laughs> and this guy's way too easy, holy crap. I don't remember him being this easy last time. So I probably wasn't using bomb arrows last time, I don't know. Plus I have control of the camera. I was watching Josh Jepsen fight this guy and I was like, dude, how the hell am I gonna do that? I'd even just beat him on my practice run like a month ago and I'm still like, I don't remember how I did it, I don't know how he's doing it, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do it. But then I get here, I do the fight, and it ends up turning out pretty well. Ooh, it's the Green Mile. Yeah, get out of here with your cancerous self. So, uh, that's all? Really? That's it? Okay, I guess we move forward then. Haha! <laughs> ah, I better get something good for that, I'll tell you. After fighting that boss, definitely a big reward in store for me. Right? Right! The spin oh, yeah, it actually allows you to float in the air. I bet you thought I was gonna scream. No sorry, I'm not gonna scream, because I love this freaking thing. Uh-uh. Hell yeah. So now you say you can't get back out of here, or so it would seem. So they make you use this thing right away. Now anytime you see these little tracks on the wall like this, you can use the spinner to ride along them. Whoa! And just look at this. Look at this. This is so awesome. I mean, uh, what I wouldn't give. Now if you stay on the track for too long, it's going to take you back into the other room, so you better jump off. And there's a... Yeah, once you're out here, if you're not on a rack, I mean, if you're not on a track somewhere, then it's pretty much just going to slow down, lose its momentum, and die. So there's not much you can really do about that, but you can use it to get over shorts and sand pits and that kind of thing. But that's about it. So as you come out of the room, you notice there's a little track over here, so you can use this to get up here. Bam. Make sure your inertia is in the right direction. Your momentum, I mean. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Get back the other way here. You're supposed to get off here. There we go. Oh, that was close. That could have been a lot worse. Now look at the size of this room. So this is basically your spinner practice room. This is where you get to practice with the spinner. There are tons of rupee chests in here and one heart piece chest, if I'm not mistaken. Ow. There's no point in even opening any of these, though, because I can't hold them in my wallet, so... Let's get onto the rack right here. The, ra the track? Why do I keep saying the rack? Jeez, have I got tits on the brain or something? Wait here, let's check this out. I think this might be the hard piece. Oh crap, that's a redead right on my ass. Yep, that's the piece of hard. Collect five. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, uh... I'm not even gonna bother with fighting you, Blood Munch. So there's a segment of this where you're going to have to get used to jumping like so, so that you don't fall off. It's not too bad. And if the rack ends, or if the track ends, <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. Now see, my momentum is the wrong way. I, I need to be going the other way. But sometimes it's hard. There we go. Okay. God, I just love this. This is so cool. What I really wish they had done, though, is made like a... I mean, a lot of people say this, too. They wish they had done more, like, areas where you could use this thing. Shit. Uh, you know, draw me right in there on a redead city or something, too. Uh, anyway, yeah, a lot of people say this. They wish there was, like, more places where you could use it. I wouldn't even... I, I think there's actually quite a few places where you can use it, and people don't really acknowledge it all that much, because there's really only one dungeon for the rest of the game, where you don't use it. Because you use it in the Ganon's tower, leading up to his room. You 
use it in the city in the sky to uh, make the bridges come out. And there's even uh, there's tracks in the Temple of Time too. A couple of them actually, a couple places where you use them. And then there's at least two places out in Hyrule Field where you got to use it to. Uh, whatever, I'm brain farting all of a sudden. I can't talk. Uh, but what I was thinking is, I kind of wish that they had made shortcuts between areas outside. Like maybe there would be a track out in Hyrule Field just outside of Kakariko Village and you could take a ride over to Zora's domain or something. And it would take like a minute to make the ride, but it would still be... Yeah, whatever. I'm about as articulate as it's a second grader right now, seriously. Okay. Wow. This is a slow rack. Okay. We're not accomplishing much there. <laughs> 